Hi everyone, it's Rain here from Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Well, my gardening season is over and I did a lot of thinking about my garden this year. It was supposed to be an experiment. I decided to plant everything that I had to see what would grow and what wouldn't grow here in this climate. I'm in a 5B zone, but this summer it was kind of a weird growing season. There was a lot of rain and it got cold really, really fast. And it didn't get warm very quickly either. It was almost like the growing season shortened from June until August, maybe mid-August or end of June to mid-August. It did. I didn't even have a long growing season like I normally do. And of all the crops that I grew this year, garlic was the most successful and always is garlic and potatoes um, the mint grew like like gangbusters like crazy we're always going to have mint in that bed um, my asparagus grew very well so i'm very happy with that i'm going to continue to grow asparagus i'm going to continue to grow garlic and mint and we've got a really nice uh, plot of chives as well now potatoes <laughs> Let's do some math here. I spent about $40 buying seed potatoes last winter. I ended up getting 15 pounds of potatoes in my harvest. That's not cost effective. My goal is self-sufficiency, but I also have to be frugal. Of course, I enjoy gardening, but if it's just gonna be a hobby, then I should concentrate on things that aren't going to cost me so much, right? Um, I don't believe I can be self-sufficient when it comes to potatoes. It's too expensive. Last week when I did my monthly shopping, now granted things are on sale now, but a 10 pound bag of red potatoes cost me $2.99. I got 15 pounds harvest for about $35. There's a chickadee <laughs> right behind me. Um, plus the soil, plus my time and nurturing the garden. It's, it's really sad to say, but it's not worth the cost. If you're looking at being self-sufficient and frugal. Um, because, you know, let's face it, I'm not rich. I can't afford to spend that much money on potatoes. It's nice to have them homegrown, but it's expensive. And the same goes for all the other crops. I spent about $25 on onion sets. Zero. Zero harvest. Now, part of that was due to the fact that there were wild turkeys in my yard, and I think they were digging them up. And the blue jays were stomping all over the raised bed in, in the spring. I'm not sure what that behavior was all about zero zero harvest so that's money down the drain and we all know that onions are not all that expensive maybe in midwinter but they're really not all that expensive so i have to think about that my lettuce only started to grow like three weeks ago <laughs> and i you know you crave lettuce in the spring and i i couldn't couldn't grow any um the broccoli cauliflower beets um Cabbage, corn, all of the herbs, nothing. Now we could blame it on the weather uh, because I have been successful in previous years growing these things. But at this point in my life, it's a lot of work and it's not worth the cost. So I'm not throwing in the towel, but I'm throwing in the towel knowing that certain crops, I'm just gonna avoid growing. Having said that, I am going to use my raised beds to grow more garlic, to grow more asparagus, and to grow more chives. We don't need any more mint. <laughs> but I think that's what's gonna be what I'm growing. My pumpkins and squash, nothing, nothing grew. So that was a huge disappointment. And I've had, I've had a lot of success in the past, so I was a little bewildered about that. Blame it on bad seeds. I mean, who knows? You can blame it on anything, right? But the fact of the matter is, at harvest time, I have access to farms and markets where I can get locally grown organic 
produce for you know reasonable prices and because I do a lot of canning and preserving and freezing and dehydrating I think that my time will be better spent doing those things rather than spending my time trying to grow these things anyway that's just the harsh realities of gardening sometimes and even though you want it to happen sometimes it can't happen but overall I'm still gonna garden I may actually concentrate on flower gardening from now on maybe I'll build some flower beds and I'll plant some tulips this year or this spring I don't know I have a lot to think about over the winter but it was a good learning experience I did learn a lot and I know what I can grow and what I can't and what I shouldn't grow because it's too expensive anyway that's my little ramble for today I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any thoughts about your garden um, are you trying to be self-sufficient is it just out of your reach or is it just a hobby for you that you don't mind spending a little more money to have some nice crops come in let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe i really really appreciate it i'll see you next time on rain's kitchen and garden bye